you need help building your team or selling your coins, make sure you head on over to CheapMaticCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And use code WOLF for 15% off. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm just going to show you guys how I run my money run schemes out of the Saints playbook. Also, the cover five hybrid defense that I like to use. I think I use it in one of these gameplays that I'm about to show you. But before we get into it, man, make sure you drop a like on the video. I need at least 2.6 million likes. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Become a member of the Wolfpack. Link is in the description. If you're going to want to be part of the Xbox tournament, join up, bro. It's going to be cash prize for the winner. We'll be live streaming that joint too. So we'll be in the Jets defense and the Saints offense for the for this video. And then what I'm doing here is I'm just setting up my big dime audibles. But what I do is I come to the 3-4 bear. Now, usually I turn auto flip on. I don't know if I did that already. I'm not even paying attention. But my man's coming out in the gun ace, uh, gun slot offset, I think. And we're just going to run 3-4 bear just in case he's trying to run it. Now, what I see a lot out of this formation is your opponent is seeing what you're doing. If you're coming out like in big dime, then they're going to run the ball. But if you're not and you're coming out something, they're going to pass the ball. So you saw right there, I pretty much tricked him. I already knew what I was going to do before I did it. Uh, I was going to fake like I was going to run down the cornerback and just jump back and try to lurk that right there. So I pretty much had that premeditated. Now, he's still in the same offense. I stopped using I tried to jump to the cross route, but he I see what he's going to do. He's trying to hit somebody here or he's trying to use his quarterback. Now, one of the problems I saw here in this game was right here. I'm clicking on, but it won't click on. So I'm running down with my user and I'm waiting. Now we play the big dime because it's third down. So I'm waiting. Is he going to go for it? No, he punts us the ball. So we're coming back to the wing stack from the Saints playbook. This is going to be the halfback stretch. The left side looks pretty, pretty nice, you know, <laughs> pretty nice and toasty. So I run my stretch to the left by moving my tight end over. You have to move the stretch play to the left first. Now over here to the right, I should have left it to the right, man. But I was running single back trio power O, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Now I got him baited, thinking everything's a run. I come over here with the PA read. And throw that underneath the cover three. It's a very good play to use, man, against that cover three defense. Now we're coming to strong power, and you guys already know. My run scheme, I got to an answer for every defense that you're going to put out there against me, man. There's just too many good run plays. And this is not even the best run play book. You know what I'm saying? Next game, we're going against Mr. Turd Ferguson. He's got 91 Slay, 91 Khalil Mack, 90 Jerry. He's got a good team, probably a better team than mine. But it doesn't really matter. As long as you just stick to the formula, all right? If it's run, I usually stay in 3-4 bear. I'll stay in 3-4 three, three, odd. The edge blitz. Uh, sometimes if I'm struggling with those two, I run to the 4-4, four, four, cover three. So I'm constantly just maneuvering through defenses. I never try to stick with the same one. If it's not working, I always go to something else until I find the one that does work. And then I force him out of his run game. You know what I'm saying? So don't get buried by the run game. There are defenses to stop it. It's just very, very hard to find one that's decent. So again, I don't know why it's clicking on so late. All right, it could be server server related. So right here, I just want to show you guys. Check this out. He's got the ball. I'm running 3-4 bear. He play actions. He could have ran that to the left, man, I think. Now, he's got all the time in the world. And dumb me, I don't jump back to the guy that's coming back that bounced off the, the sideline and came back left. So that's my fault. So I got to learn. So I'm here in the 3-4 odd. He play actions again. I'm trying to cover that. Trying to get to the user. We don't get the pick right there. It's second and 10, man. We're in the big dime. I think he sees it. He's probably going to run the ball here because if he's smart, he would run the ball here. But maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's going to try to pass against this big dime 146. Oh, my guy trips over his own his own player. But I got the I got these crossing routes and stuff covered, bro. I got everything covered. Corner routes, crossing routes. I'm, I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? I, I was kind of a little late. But we got the pick right there. Going to run wing stack. We're going to run stress to the left. Boom, take it off to the left. I'm telling you guys, if you don't have proper defenses or you don't see what I'm doing, you're going to be in trouble. So now we're running tight offset tight end, the inside zone on a first and 10. Not, not too hard. Now we got him baited. We're coming back to the PA read. Boom, and that covered three. They're expecting a run. I got them with the play action. You know what I mean? So and another thing you got to watch out if you're going to be using play action, because if they're containing, you're pretty much your play is pretty much over. So we're going to run stretch to the left again on a second and nine. And then I'm going to pick that guy to, to ID. Just I, I don't think it works, but it might look like it worked on this play. Now, if Jerry Rice wouldn't have got out the way, bro, if he would have got out the way, probably would have busted for some more yards running either zone weak or dive right here. I don't know. I don't remember which one it was. So now we're in empty tray on a second and seven. 
you guys gonna see user versus user. I click on, my man clicks on, but you know how it goes, man. If, if you don't know what you're doing with your user, that's gonna happen right there. So we quick hike him just to try to keep him in the same defense. And we're gonna run, I wanna say tight offset, tight end, inside zone. I usually run to the tight offset, tight end right here, the inside zone for these plays right here on the goal line. So like, if I'm on the two, I'm coming to the tight offset, tight end, running inside zone right here. You'll see why. Do a flip. I <laughs> do a flip. Almost landed on my legs, bro. Probably that would have been clean if I would have. So now I feel like I have them in the passing situation. So it's time to just stick to the big dime 146. And I want to say this is the game. You guys are actually going to see the cover five hybrid. All right. It's like a little hybrid cover five defense. Uh, it's second and four. We sack him. So it's third down. I think this is why I run it. Let's see. Oh, no, no. I actually keep a cloud. So it's kind of like a cover four. And we sack him. I don't know if he's going for it. He might go for it. He's going for it. Right here. Here's my cover five hybrid. You see it right there? Perfect for these types of situations, bro, because he's really got nowhere to throw it. You know what I mean? And then they give us the pick. They're not going to give us the ball at the 18. They're going to make sure we pick the ball, so we have to travel the whole length of the field. I know how Madden works, man. You ain't tricking me, bro. Anyway, we get the ball. Right back to stretch. He's in. I don't know what he's in. It looks like 4-4. And just look at my, my run game is getting a little bit better, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's getting it's getting a little bit better. Not the best, but it's getting a little bit better, man. Give me my give me my credit, man. All right, don't don't be trying to keep my credit from me. So he's back into the passing game out of like goal line defense. I don't know what he's running right here, man, to be honest with you, but it's something I'd never run in my life. Almost threw a pick, but he did it. Now this is what he should have kept doing, was running the ball out of that formation. He probably would have stalled me a little bit, but he did it. So we're coming back to the cover two defense. I pretty much had that user. I think I want to say that was pass interference. Kind of like trampled him, bro. So now we are in the cover one thief out of the big dive one, four, six. I should have ran spinner. I'm going to show you guys the spinner defense, man, in a, in a future video. It's just better than the cover one thief. But my user gets to him in time on a fourth to six, man. I read that at play recognition, bro. You know what I mean? Just I just know what I'm doing. And I'm telling you guys, I play a lot better when I'm not doing it live commentary because I'm actually concentrating and looking at, you know, at the game without interrupting myself. And you just see me, man, just running the ball. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Wing stack. Back over here. Stretch. He's pinching his D-line. Not, not too good. All I do is I move my stretch back to the right. Or am I coming left? I guess I'm coming left with it, man. Probably could have got away with it going right right there. But I'm coming left with it. Just get off me, child's play. You know what I mean? Back to the stretch again on the first and 10. It's the second quarter. We're up 14 to 0. Audibling to the to the dive since he's spreading his D-line. You see what I'm saying? I tell you guys how to read the defense. Once they once I see that, I'm I'm audibling. If I see it compressed like that, then I'm coming to the stretch. And that's another TD. That's a GG for my opponent right there. The games are fairly easy in seasons right now. Um not really faced with hard competition but it is what it is man make sure you drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel for more content and you know how it goes man love you guys